This is yeah. awesome. There's like people wearing wizard costumes and like giant giraffes that are. are... Robbie from Missoula, Montana. Missoula. Missoula Ablangata. <laughs> <It's been>! oh. <laughs> hey! Hey! I was on I was on Twitter for like an hour and a half, just talking to people. I couldn't <laughs> sleep. Um, it was it was awesome though. It's it's very that's good. I like Twitter. You smell that sun? That's the smell of marijuana. <laughs> Where's the weirdest place we've played a gig? You just like put this in front of your private areas. It's a dirty, dirty sex toy. Dirty. Oh gosh. Uh. Yeah, and it felt good. You know, so so I think like being um, well, you know, we're like, hey. So you know, torches is is uh, it's a super versatile record. You know, it's like we didn't really um, didn't try to like operate within like super tight boundaries. Just like. You know, I, I, I write music that, that, that I love and have fun fun with, and some of it's super, like, guitar-driven and more, you know, on, in the vein of, like, weird, like, Ziggy Stardust stuff, and then, and then you know, there's, like, more electronic and Apex Twin stuff mixed with, like, Motown stuff, and, but, I mean, it all fits together. I don't know, I don't know how, but, you know, a couple years ago, it was, like, I'd write a disco song and then, like, straight Motown song and then, like, a hip-hop song, and, and now it's, like, honed in, you know what I mean? It's still, it's still kind of... You know, some stuff's over here, some stuff's over there. But there's another song we recorded for the record. It's actually not on the record, but we're gonna put it out. It's called Ruby, and it's it's about like a you know middle middle age, um, single working mother. You know, from her perspective. You know, and, um, and there's another song on the record called Hustlin'. That's like it's about you know I, I live a block and a half away from Skid Row, and uh, it's about like a homeless guy and like the dichotomy of like how homeless people are like living in the most humble circumstances, and yet sometimes they have the biggest ego. You know, it's like I, I've walked up to so many homeless people like, hey, you want some food? It's like not even touched. And they open it up. They're like, I don't like mango. And I'm just like, what? Like, aren't you hungry? <laughs> like, this is amazing, this, like chicken, mango, and rice. Like, what, how, what can't you like about that? And they're just like, get out of my face. Do you have some money? And I was like, no, I'm not going to support your habit, but I've got some food.